I'm going to talk about two things. First of all, was Obama's excessive executive order fulfilled the parameter of when they can do an executive order, which is emergency and fair politics? And secondly, whether or not his executive orders were strategic for Democrats' interests in trying to get their uh, programs. But three reasons why UGM already lost this debate. First of all, they were unable to provide any realistic alternative of how Democrats have gotten okay. their policies to pass it in the Congress or in any other means, Madam Speaker. This is to say that they never told you why executive order had a replacement or had an alternative that they could pursue. Yeah. Secondly, they never told you that when Republicans are doing dirty politics, why Democrats also still need to be clean and yeah, why they should not also fight yeah. in dirty yeah. politics. Thirdly, there was no response to Atikri's new urgency to say that Obama had to keep the Democrats united and to prevent a rebellion and infighting because they said that Democrats were not doing anything and that the executive order was necessary to first please them. So the priority was first to get the Democrats united before thinking about anything else or else it's going to go through. So first, on whether or not it fulfills the parameter of a good executive order. First of all, Madam Speaker, they say it's bad because it harms other constituents and you don't think about other people. You can just disregard this, because this is for all forms of executive order, all forms of politics, yeah, yeah. in which policies will hurt other constituents and help a certain constituents, Madam Speaker. Democrats can't cater to all of people in the United States. They have to cater to the people that they represent, Madam Speaker. So that's not the parameter of the debate. But the parameter of the debate was about emergency. And they said, well, we could have gotten it through the legislative process like Obamacare. First of all, Obamacare is an executive order, Madam Speaker, and Trump has not replaced Obamacare because we have Congress to find a replacement first, Madam Speaker. That's what Jessica has been telling you from the first place. DACA, Iran, and Obamacare was something that happened in executive order. He was not able to get it through the Congress because first, it was hijacked by the Republicans. The existence of the party, for example, the existence of racism, for example, and the fact that they only wanted to destroy Obama's legacy at all cost meant that they were unable to do something. But they said, well, if it was so popular, why did the society get Democratic representatives in Congress and Senate in the first place? We told you that oftentimes there's systematic gerrymandering to say that that's why you cannot go to the Congress but still have societal support on the ground. That there's lower turnout for Democrats in the African American or Latino groups that make it unable for us to pass it through the Congress. But then they said, well, it wasn't veto, so you could have went through the Congress. No. No, there's different thresholds for veto and getting here. Veto requires three fourths of the Congress to shut it down, while normal Congress bill only requires 50 percent. What does this mean? Republicans were able to stop the bills when it was a lower threshold. Who were able to bypass that, Madam Speaker, when they had to reach a higher threshold. But they said, wait, there's shutdowns now in Trump, and Trump then is already a good executive order. No, the shutdown in Trump happened because they wanted budget for a Mexican wall, Madam Speaker. And they were wanted to stop that. So are the means correct? In politics, the ends justify the means. Why? Because helping people and representing the people that you're actively trying to support ensures that they're supported. But secondly, when Republicans don't do the correct means, that's something that we don't have to do anymore also, Madam Speaker. Because when they're playing dirty politics, the only way for us to champion our people is also to do dirty politics. So let's talk about strategy. They said, now Trump can do a lot of executive orders. First of all, this is not urgent, because many of Trump's executive orders are unconstitutional. What are we talking about? We're talking about the Muslim ban, for example, that has been shut down, not by Senate, but the Supreme Court. Yeah. Yeah. That's how the democratic process in America works. They haven't been able to evoke the environmental laws of Obama, for example, because the Supreme Court has said that there needs to be a replacement. But secondly, Trump doesn't need a reason to do dirty politics, man. Yeah. He's a despicable person. And in the absence of Obama not doing a certain order, he would still have done a certain order anyway in order to try to get his policies to pass in the first place. Because he disregards protocols. He disregards procedures, for example. He doesn't care what other people think. So we don't think that he would have stopped doing a certain order if Obama didn't do that in the first place. But secondly, about sustainable policies that could have been revoked. First of all, they told you no example of a, a good project that has been revoked. We told you that DACA has since been reinforced by the Supreme Court and said that, Obama, that Trump needs to continue with this until they find a replacement. Secondly, the nuclear there and Obamacare are still wholly intact. Though attacked in certain places, the majority of the program is still there, Madam Speaker. But secondly, you need to understand
understand that in American politics, repealing a policy is harder than enacting a policy, Madam Speaker. This is because oftentimes people are already comfortable with those policies in the first place yeah. and already yeah. like the benefits of Obamacare and having insurance. So that's why many of the executive orders have been sustainable and have been very pleasurable towards the people on the ground. Yeah. But thirdly, Democrats have been known to be more likely to get the presidency, Madam Speaker, than the Congress, than Senate, because they face gerrymandered House races, for example, and Senate House races. So unfortunately, yes, Clinton lost, but we understand that in the future, Democrats are more likely to be able to get sustainable change through executive orders because they were able to get that probability. Lastly, how about decreasing the electability of Democrats? First of all, we told you that these, pop these proposals are actually highly popular. Let me tell you one interesting fact. Who supported Obamacare? Trump supported Obamacare. And Trump was able to get elected when he promised the rural people in America that he would not revoke Obamacare when he becomes presidency. Why is this important, Madam Speaker? This is important to show that when you support the executive orders of Obama, it doesn't decrease your electability in the future. It actually increases your electability. Yeah, yeah. Hillary was punished for trying to disassociate herself with Obama while Trump yeah, yeah. was trying to support many other things. That's why we told you the electability that Democrats lost was not because of the uh, legislative order. There's a lot of other factors. The fact that Clinton is just a horrible candidate, for example, or that there are gerrymandering uh, uh, options. We see that the fact that Trump had won by supporting Obamacare shows to you that the second orders was actually probable. But lastly, the comparative is not that they would gain more uh, voters. We understand that Democrats in the previous uh, vote lost most of the uh, government branches. But we would have lost more if we did not have certain projects that we can use as a proof that we were yeah. working government. If we did not have something to show for and credit for in the first place. Because if we had yeah. nothing, then we have lost more of our seats in the Senate and Congress because we had nothing to show of that. It was an emergency. Dirty politics can be done when the Republicans are doing it. There's no benefits on their side because Trump is unconstitutional. He's going to do it anyway. It's sustainable and it's electable. We beg to oppose.